Hello again. There was a time when people in Britain were proud that the Industrial Revolution began in this country and was the starting point for the modern technological societies which we see now across the world. We invented the machinery which brought about the modern world and at the same time our philosophers developed the ideas which would enable science and not religion to take the leading role in our intellectual life. Everything we see today, from spaceships and the internet to medicine, wind farms and so on, it all stems from that giant leap forward that we call the Industrial Revolution. It is when modern science and modern thought were born. You might have thought that this was nothing to apologise for because the benefits which all this has brought to the whole world are incalculable. Look at African countries which have mains electricity in their cities. That's a product of the Industrial Revolution. Think about the advances in medicine which have eradicated smallpox from the world. That's also part of the legacy. Rational thought and the scientific method rather than blind religious faith and dogma? That also began in the late 18th century and was driven by the Industrial Revolution as well. We call that period the Enlightenment. It now transpires that because of all this, Britain is being made to feel guilty about global warming and to assume responsibility for making things better for the inhabitants of Pakistan, for example. After all, so goes the reasoning, if we had not had the Industrial Revolution, then there would have been no steam engines and no factories, no cars or aeroplanes. Because of our role in bringing about the modern world, we bear a heavy responsibility for floods and hurricanes in developing countries like Pakistan, which are suffering from the climate change brought about by the Industrial Revolution. It is only right that we should therefore pay for all the damage we've caused. That's why at the COP27 meeting taking place at Sharm el Sheikh, the Prime Minister is making a deal to fund reparations for the damage caused by climate change that we caused by inventing steam engines and Bessemer converters a couple of hundred years ago. I realise that this sounds utterly mad and that it really could be something invented by a satirist, but it is cold sober truth. At the very time that the Chancellor of the Exchequer is getting ready to announce £35 billion worth of spending cuts and another £25 billion worth of tax rises, this country is hoping to sign a deal which will commit us to countless billions of pounds to be sent to Asia and Africa as reparations for our wickedness in inaugurating the modern world. I give a link to a brief piece about this, but believe me, this is just the beginning. Climate reparations are set to be the next big thing, dwarfing even the demands for compensation by the descendants of the supposed victims of the slave trade. That, after all, only affects people of African heritage, but this new guilt trip will mean that Britain accepts responsibilities for all the winds blowing and all the rain falling, the sun shining, the droughts and the floods across the entire world. If only we hadn't been so selfish and irresponsible, sharing all those inventions and distributing all that knowledge with the rest of the world, we wouldn't be in this pickle now.